genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Thomas Edison, the great American inventor, the inventor of the light bulb, is credited with first saying this, and it's been used throughout my entire life to remind us that we, everybody has ideas. We have ideas all the time. We're thinking all the time. But it's the acting on those ideas. It's implementing those ideas. It's putting them into action. It's putting work and effort behind them that actually shows the true genius of the idea, right? Every one of us has had a million dollar idea, maybe a billion dollar idea, but did we do anything with it or did it come in one ear and out the other like so many of the other things we hear and we think about and we want to do? Oftentimes that's what happens. It's happened to me uh, throughout my lifetime countless times. I couldn't even count all the times that I thought, oh, that'd be a great idea. And if I don't write it down, chances are I'm not going to remember it. But even the great ideas that I write down, I don't always act on because it doesn't match my priorities or I don't want to or I don't feel like I have the resources uh, or the timing isn't right for me. But uh, there's lots of different ways to be inspired, to find inspiration, to seek out and find opportunities, especially when we're growing and building our business. Uh, our topic for today for No Nonsense November, day 13 actually, for the annual challenge is do one thing every day that inspires you. So how do you go about motivating and inspiring yourself to continue to move toward, in this case, building and growing and supersizing your business? There's lots of different ways. Uh, I looked up a couple of lists on this topic because I like to do that. I like to say, okay, here's the things I do and I like to do, but what do other people do and what do experts recommend we do when it comes to staying inspired and motivated. So things, we've talked about most of these things over the course of the last couple of years, um, but just a brief reminder, break things down into small pieces, right? When we're creating something or doing something or starting a new project, we know what the end goal is, we know what it is that we want to achieve, but we don't just go from A to Z in an instant. We have to take a lot of different little steps along the way to get us from where we are to where we want to be. The most important part of that entire process, besides knowing where you want to go and knowing where you are, is just to take that first step. Just start. We need to break those tasks down again into little bite-sized pieces so that we can take the steps that we need to get to what we want. Uh, our mindset, we need to create a mindset that supports us in all of our endeavors. Um, one of the biggest secrets I've learned over the decades is Focusing on gratitude and appreciating what's worked out so far in our life is the fastest, easiest way to create more of that and give us the momentum we need to achieve the, the thing that we're working toward. Um, uh, be kind to yourself, be constructive. Uh, minimize and be merciless with your to-do list. I don't know about you, but when I was working in corporate America, I had a running, like always, about 400 item to-do list because it covered each of the different areas and aspects of my life, but it had 400 items on it. I never finished a lot of those things. Why? Because it was overwhelming even to look at the list, much less think about as soon as I checked something off, I was adding three or four more things on. So I got merciless with that list and I decided in each area of my life, I had three things. There were only three things and I would only work on one at a time. That still gave me nine things to work on or seven things back then uh, at any given time or be moving toward. Uh, so get your to-do list down to a manageable and believable side. The worst thing about having that 400 item to-do list was that every time I looked at it, instead of feeling good and motivated and inspired, I felt bad because I felt like I hadn't gotten enough things done yet. And our lives are always busy, so, so busy, especially uh, as technology and the world moves fast around us, more things are thrown at us that we want to do or that we expect ourselves to do. And as human beings, there's only so much that's possible. And yeah, we can do a lot more than we think we can, but we can't do everything. Uh, reflect on how far you've come. Make sure you appreciate where you are in your journey uh, and the things you've overcome and created in your life as you're building and growing and supersizing your business. Uh, remind yourself of your why. We talk about your why and the, the five and seven whys a lot. Uh, eliminate distractions. Commit 100% to the thing that it is that you're trying to create with your business. Uh, change your inputs. Consider the people in the community. Look for role models. Da 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 da. We could go on and on about this. 
Uh, but the main thing is remembering that anything that we want, we can achieve, we can do, we can figure it out. We can create the business we want, but we have to be willing to put in the work, the four letter word work, and the effort required doesn't necessarily have to be us, right? But we have to be willing to put the pieces together and the people and the resources together to create the business that we want. So I'd love to know your experience with this particular idiom. Do you believe that genius and having a great idea and creating something amazing in the world is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration? Share your experience with this idiom in the comments below and have an awesome day. See you tomorrow.